Hi there, and welcome to the American English Accent Club. I'm glad you're here. My name is Denise Wagstaff, and I'm going to help you with your pronunciation of the American English accent. All right, so this video. Today's video, I thought I would go over the words can and can't. A lot of times you'll, you'll think that when someone is saying can't, that they're saying the t sound at the end. That's really not actually what happens most times. Most times when we say can't, we don't aspirate the T. We don't make the air come out when we say can't. We say can't, can't, kind of chop it, can't. I can't go, I can't go. Hear it? I can't go. I can't do that, I can't do that. I can't tell. You hear the T that time? Can't tell. How come? Who knows the answer? Can't tell. You hear the T that time because the T is the first sound in the next word. Because if it's not a T, you're not going to hear that T. You're going to hear, I can't do it. I can't see it. I can't watch that. I can't borrow that. I can't borrow that. So we don't really release the at the end. Sometimes we barely even say the n sound. But you can hear the vowel sound and that's important and that's going to help you to be able to figure out is it can't or is it can. Okay? So now that I've told you that you don't usually hear the t at the end of can't, you're going to hear it chop. Can't, can't do it, can't watch it, can't see it. Uh, I want you to listen to how it sounds when we say can. What you're going to notice is if the a ah in can goes to a schwa, very short, like just the shortest sound that you can make to uh, connect two consonant sounds, that's going to be the word can. I can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Can he do it? Do you hear it? Can he do it? I can do it. I can do that. Let's hear the difference between I can and I can't. Remember, can is going to go to can, can in almost every time in running speech. I can do it. I'm going to compare. I'm going to do, I'm going to say can at the start of the sentence. <clears throat> Pardon me. Then I'm going to do can't later in the sentence and see if you can hear the differences. I can go, but I can't do that. I can go, but I can't do that. I can go, but I can't do that. Hear the difference? So I'm not saying can and can't. I'm saying can and can't. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it. I can't, can't do it. Hear the differences? Pretty different than what you thought, right? Anyway, I hope that that's helpful for you. So. When you're trying to sound more naturalistic in your American English accent, keep that in mind. If you're going to say can't, you're not often going to aspirate that t sound. And if you want to say can, most times you're really going to say it can, very quick, can, I can do that, he can do it, we can do that, we can do it. Okay? And I think you can do it. Keep working. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any comments. Um, Feel free. Nice, nice though. Be nice. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being part of the American English Accent Club. Please like this video, share it, subscribe, and tell other people that you think might find it helpful that we're here and we're doing this kind of work. Okay. Thanks everybody. Take care. Bye.